Welcome to Reef Diary, day 31. So today I didn't really do much because of the live stream. I'm just tired. <laughs> and so I decided that I would just do my water testing, which I'll go over those results with you. And I fed the fish. So these are the four packets of food I use each night when I feed my fish. And I'm feeding fish in three different aquariums. I have something between 50 and 60 fish total to feed. So I fill up this little bowl with all these little pieces. And uh, it's not a lot of food, but uh, it is what I feel is enough to vanish in about two minutes once it's dumped into the tank. Tanks. I like to use different types of food and different sizes of food so that every mouse in the aquarium has an option for something that they can chew on. For example, when I get to this krill here in a moment, you'll see that I tear it up rather than just putting in full-size krills. In the past, I would put in the regular ones right out of the container into the water and let it thaw, and Spock would eat them. But I discovered that she really isn't interested in them like she used to be. So now I break them up into smaller pieces so that other fish can take a bite, or the clownfish can take them down to the anemones to feed those if they so choose. I say feed them, they usually hide them in the anemone, and the anemone eats it. So uh, that has been an ongoing process for a long time. I'll add a little bit of tank water to let it thaw, and then in about 10 minutes or so, it is ready to use. The food itself, I don't dump out the liquid because I feel like everything that's been thawed out, the oils that came off the PE mices, all that is beneficial for my tank. Yes, it adds to the nitrate and phosphate, but it is food for the corals, not just for the fish. So I don't rinse it out. I just put it directly into the tank and make sure that everyone gets what they need. And I try to make sure that everyone's getting a good meal every single night. Feeding time is really the only time you get to see all these fish in the anemone cube, so I wanted to make sure to include that in today's diary. Water parameters wise, uh, alkalinity, according to the Trident, is 9.05. According to my test kit, it's about 9.5. Calcium is 420, magnesium is 1400, and uh, nitrate is 20, and phosphate is 0.25. So not much has changed since I did my testing three days ago, and I basically am looking at algae on the glass because of the higher phosphate, but I've held off in putting any phosphate or X in the system yet. I did dose nine milliliters of Microbacter 7 again today, and I put in the four different Prodibio products I put in every 15 days. Today was time. So I got all those things done, and tomorrow I'm going to clean the glass on the aquariums, and I'm going to work on some lights. So that should be an interesting diary that you may enjoy watching. If you're new to the Reef Diaries, let me just tell you that I do a short one every single day talking about what I did with the tank that day. And I encourage you to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss a single episode. I've been adding these diaries to a playlist so that way you can actually start from the beginning and work your way forward if you so choose. As I said in the beginning, this is number 31, so you have 30 other days to check out if you'd like and kind of see what's been going on. The lighting over the aquariums will be shutting off soon, but because it's a full moon outside, I may see some extended moonlight periods over my various aquariums due to the sky and the radion schedules.